This video clip will demonstrate how to take a and use a filter preview window that can be used with some of the filters that are very compute intense and it'll help you set parameters get them the way you want it and then you can either apply or copy the command back to the original very large image and apply it while you're getting a cup of coffee so let's uh, let's take a look at how this works here I've got an image of the horse head that's already had a color balance and digital development applied to it and it's a large image it's 3400 by 2200 images or pixels in size and I want to smooth the background a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this copy portion option to press it and then I'm going to left click and create a little rectangle here and I'm going to use that as a test area now this image is only 400 by well, 400 square almost but I can apply the filters that are do a lot of computation to it quickly and adjust the parameters and once I get them set I'll take it back and apply it to this very large image which will take more time okay a good example would be the background smoothing function okay what I want to do is I want to remove this kind of salt and pepper looking noise through here so I'm gonna check the select from image box and I'm just gonna left click on some of that noise like right here to take some measurements and that set these parameters and I'm gonna bump this up to let's say th three iterations and then I'll apply it to this small image and it'll go fairly quickly here although it's still quite a bit of computation uh, while this operation was running because it was iter iterative the background here changed to a yellow to indicate that uh, a filter is running against this image okay here's the smoothed background now let's compare it with the previous unsmoothed background and to do that I can use this previous next button so I'm gonna left click on the image that I just filtered and I'll do press the undo button see how that noise comes back here the filtered image it does a nice job of removing that stuff and if you watch the stars change as I flip back and forth there's there's really very little actually no change to the stars or these diffraction spikes they pretty much remain the same all right now when I take this filter back to a large image it's going to run for it's going to run three iterations and it's going to take it maybe a minute or two to, to do that depending on how many iterations you run well you have two choices you can either close the preview image and left click on the larger image and then just press apply because you have the command open that'll certainly work or you could come to the process history list right click on the command choose copy and then you can close the preview image and that'll take you back to the larger image right click on the last command and then click paste and now you'll have this command and its parameters in the process list of the larger image and you can notice how the text turns from black to red indicating you've got a command there to uh, to process these buttons are showing that uh, this is the current last process command so to actually apply these parameters now you just press the next button and this is going to run for a little while because there's a lot of computation there and I may run for two three four five minutes or so but that's how you use a preview window now there's quite a few commands in here background was certainly one of them uh, operation in progress that's because it's in use at the moment um, notice that it's threaded so I can go back up to the main thread here and look at some of these other commands while it's running uh, this command can take a while deconvolution this is another deconvolution command that's iterative that can take a while to run any command that takes some time to compute the output you can uh, use this preview image in the manner I just just demonstrated to uh, 
zero in on an image or maybe even you can create several sub images to use to test the parameters and once you get it set right you can apply it to the full size image okay that's how you create a filter preview image and use it